Nice. Very Actually, I like them. nice. Okay, we're getting the boots out. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna are these boots made for walking? They are. Nancy Sinatra would love these boots. And you can buy them now for two seventy five from Matacor. Uh, re so it's like a black stuff. and brown type of a look. Yeah, and this actually is a different leather to give it a little more bang. Is it okay to touch it? Uh, you can touch it. Just don't oh, this, it. Is just that, yeah. <laughs> this is the same boot that... Yeah, this is the same boot that A.T. still this wore. This is a Missouri mud boots, but what actually... What size are these? Uh, about nine and a half, oh, I think. So what size are you, Howard? Thirteen. Thirteen. Well, they can make them that big, but they'll charge you more. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a doctor. He can afford it. He can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually have a little bit of uh, gold put on them or whatever. Gold tip. Ooh, <laughs> gold tip. <laughs> gold tip. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, so let's tell the story. Are okay, here ready? we go. Ready for the story. Okay. We're afraid because these travel a lot that, that the boots might actually get you know destroyed or lost. I mean, they never leave my purse and they're, they're attached to me, uh, but still, just in case something happens, we wanted to make new boots. So we send in this guy in Wyoming and um, you know all tracking and official so that we don't lose them. And so he gets the boots and the first thing he says to me is, um, did Dr. Still have heel spurs? It's like, well, he had a lot of problems that he didn't, I don't think he had heel spurs. Those are painful. Uh, my father-in-law has them, not Raj. Anyway, so, uh, I said, no, I don't think he goes, well, well, never mind, never mind. He goes, there's, there's something in both of them. I said, what do you mean there's something in these boots? We've had these boots for 50 years. He goes, there, there's something in the boot. Hmm. And uh, I said, well, pull it out. And he goes, okay. He goes, these don't, these don't belong in the boot. These, these are something that are he added. Probably put in. These are inserts. These are ortho, orthopedic. Those are the original inserts. Made oh, he by made Andrew orthotics. Tillis. Orthotics. Oh. Doctor Still actually. <laughs> he was created, a podiatrist. He was a podiatrist. I love anecdotes. So when you actually look at the intentions of his toes and everything, so I said, okay. So did he have like fallen arches? He goes, no. These are the opposite of what you would do for fallen arches. These are pushing his feet to the center to give him more balance because with the staff, when he had the inner uh, nerve yeah. damage because of typhoid fever for eight months and wow. he wanted to die, he lost, he lost some of the, the balance. So and he so he always leaned to the right. So he actually pushed his feet in to give him a little more stability. So if you can't change the structure, change the platform. And basically that's what he Dr. Still did. And once again, dentist, <laughs> orthopedics, what, what did the man not do? <laughs> That's great. And I think he was a little embarrassed because this was never mentioned. The family didn't know. No one knew. Only a bootmaker could look inside there and say, there's something that doesn't belong. Now, I asked him, I said, okay, on these boots. I said, so he goes, this is actually the bottom of shoe leather. This is not made to shift or change. He wanted that alteration to be permanent. And there it is, your history lesson today. Thank wow. you very much, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> and we're always finding out something new about Dr. Still <laughs> about three months ago. Very good. <laughs>